Thanks, Philip. It's a pleasure to be here. Today, I'm going to talk about the reviewer's view of grant writing. And I'm going to take us through and discuss some of the key issues um, that I take into consideration. But first about me, my experience comes from reviewing mostly public grants. So I'm gonna talk about a few US National Institutes of Health examples. And most of my um, grant writing tips are probably um, most useful in sort of the public sphere. We imagine that grant review is, is a polished expert taking their time and um, and this is, but but the reality of this in the COVID era is is much much different. And I'm sure all of you are familiar with this. This is actually the same researcher. Um, if you take the if you look at the sort of office around, it's full of kid stuff and full of competing priorities. And um, so you need to remember that grant reviewers are just like the rest of us. Um, they're, they're trying to get by and, and do their job. And so here, here's the outline. I'm going to go through each of these. Inspire your reviewer, build a team of reviewers, signpost and be well organized, know the selection criteria and demonstrate how you meet them, be obsessive, be tenacious and be a grant reviewer. So inspire your grant review, reviewer. This is a key issue. If you have a boring sentence at the very beginning, the whole grant won't, there won't be as much attention given to it. Um, so the first and the last sentences are very important. And now I'm gonna, this is a, a specific example from um, a grant that was funded. And you can see how this is taking a very specific example about crowdsourcing and getting the reader excited about it from the beginning. Build a team of passionate co-investigators who will review and critique before the grant goes to peer review. So getting really honest and critical feedback can help to strengthen a grant, can help to preempt criticisms, identify weaknesses and, and, um, and improve them. So if you look at the um, this text, this is the team that submitted an ESRC grant recently, and we define what each of the people are doing, and each of these co-investigators gave feedback in the process of writing the grant. Signposting and being super well organized. This is very important, especially as grant applications get longer and longer having very clear signposting and organization will improve the likelihood of funding. And just in terms of a specific example, you can see this is an introductory paragraph for a specific aim of an NIH grant that was funded. And I tell the reader, this is the hypothesis. This is the approach. This is the rationale. Here are the outcomes. And this helps to clarify um, for the reader. Know and demonstrate how you meet all of the selection criteria. Many applicants are not going to be clear about the criteria or um, exactly clear about what they should focus on. In the context of the U.S. National Institutes of Health, we're talking about significance, investigator, innovation, approach, environment, and human subjects. Don't forget human subjects. It is score driving. And there are examples of funded NIH grants on the NIH website. I would encourage all of you to check those out. Be obsessive about the details, especially the start and the finish of the grant. Double check your references. A colleague in training said that it's not OCD, it's OCA, Obsessive Compulsive Advantage. So getting all those details right. This is an example from a grant that I submitted that was not funded. And um, you can see there is an, a, an error with the referencing in the specific aims. And I don't fault the reviewer at all here. The reviewer comment said that it was very off-putting. And I completely agree, you've got to get the details right. 
be tenacious. And this is important because grant writing is not a quick task. It's not something that you're going to solve overnight. It's something that you need to um, think about in a longer, over a longer period of time and, and sort of nurture and develop. In terms of examples, 90% of NIH R01 grant applications will fail. So be prepared to resubmit. And if you are resubmitting, really taking into consideration all of the reviewer comments, use those reviewer comments and don't take it personally. Um, get experience reviewing grants. This is really helpful for reviewers and grant writers to, to become familiar with the process, to understand what's important. Um, so get reviewer experience yourself. One specific example of this is the NIH Early Career Reviewer Program. And you can see the eligibility criteria here. And for other grant applications, either in your country or in your region, I would encourage you to volunteer and to, to be a part of grant review panels. Finally, know that grant writing is a journey. It takes time. I'd like to thank the APAC organizers and Philip and the rest of the panelists on this um, exciting panel. Thank you.